In this video, I'll try to give a concept about mixing colors. See this one. I'll try to mix red and green color. First, I paint green on the paper. Then I paint red on it. The resultant color is quite darkish. The color mixing is a subtractive mixing. Now I open a Word file in my Windows PC. I go to Format and click Font. Then I click on the Font Color drop-down over here. Then click on More Colors. In the resulting window, I click on Custom tab over here. Here we see that the color model is RGB. This color model is based on three colors, red, green and blue. RGB model is used for additive mixing and is seen on TV and computer screens. RYB model is used for subtractive mixing and is used by painters. Now, what are primary colors? The primary colors are colors which cannot be created by mixing two colors. In RGB model, the primary colors are red, green and blue. In RYB model, the primary colors are red, yellow and blue. Secondary colors are achieved by mixing two primary colors. Complementary colors are the two colors which when mixed give the same effect as the result of mixing the three primary colors. Let's go back to the word file. Color values of red, green and blue are written over here. You can enter a value starting from 0 to 255 in these boxes. These values indicate the intensity of the color or in other words, we may say that we have 256 shades in each of red, green and blue. If your computer has more than 24-bit color depth, then it is capable of showing more than 16 million colors. Now what is additive mixing? For this, we should understand that we can see color in an object because an electromagnetic wave of a particular wavelength reflected from that object is reaching our eyes, corresponding to that color. Different colors have different wavelengths. However, all the visible colors fall within the wavelength range starting from 380 nanometers to about 800 nanometers. Additive mixing means a superimposition of two electromagnetic waves. A wave having wavelength of green color mixes with a wave having wavelength of red color gives a wave having wavelength of yellow color. This is just like mixing of light rays. Now let's create some colors in the word file. By default, the font color is black. Black color means that all values are zero over here. Or in other words, black means no color. Now I give color value 255 to red. The font color becomes red. Then I'll mix green with red by typing 255 here. We get yellow color. In the same way, I mix red and blue. I get a pink color called magenta color. Then I mix green and blue. I get turquoise color called cyan. Cyan, magenta and yellow make up the secondary colors in RGB model. Now I mix all the three primary colors by assigning a value 255 to each. I get white color. Thus in RGB model, white means presence of all colors. Now the question is that why do we see the different colors in different objects? A red object is red because it contains a pigment with a particular molecular structure such that it absorbs all color waves except the red one. The white light falls on it. White light contain equal amounts of red, green and blue light which are of course the primary colors of additive mixing. So here green and blue is absorbed and red is reflected. And here red and green colors are absorbed and blue is reflected. Now this is magenta color. This absorb green color and reflect blue and red, which is nothing but magenta. Now suppose we try to mix red and blue pigment in equal amounts. What happens? 
the red pigment reflects red which is absorbed by the blue pigment and the blue pigment reflects blue which is absorbed by the red pigment so in actual color mixing the reflected color of one pigment is always subtracted by the other pigment so it is called subtractive mixing so you may think that since nothing is being reflected the mixture of the pigments should appear black but this actually does not go this way because due to the presence of pigments there is always some amount of red and blue getting reflected so it can be said that subtractive mixing will never give you the desired result so when you actually mix them up you get something close to violet a third model is the CMYK model and is used in the printing industry. In printing industry, the secondary colors of the RGB model are taken as the primary colors. So cyan, magenta and yellow are the primary colors here. The secondary colors are primary colors of the RGB model that is red, green and blue. When cyan, magenta and yellow are mixed equally with full intensity, then we get black color. The absence of colors that is cyan, magenta and yellow are all zero then the color is white because printing is carried normally on white papers. But as told earlier that subtractive mixing do not give the desired result we add a fourth color which is black to correct it. The letter K is taken for black because B is already booked for blue color. The fourth black color is used for correction and is called the key color. So for printing, it is the CMYK model. Now, I will show you something. Open your word file. Draw two flags. One flag has magenta, black and red color. The other one has cyan, white and yellow color. Now draw a circle. Give fill color green. And transparency 25%. Remove the light. Make a copy of it. Give it a red color. Consider these circles as lights. This one being the green light and this one is the red light. Bring the red light on the flags. You can distinguish the colors under red lights. although the magenta and red part cannot be differentiated. Now bring the green light on the flags. The tricolors cannot be distinguished under green lights. This is because red, black and magenta cannot reflect green light. So all appear black under green lights. While cyan, white and yellow can reflect green light, so all appear green under green lights.